Why are gaming channels dying off on YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about the history of gaming on YouTube and why exactly it's fading away slowly as time goes on. Now before we get started with this video, please don't jump to conclusions and leave a dislike or a rash opinion in the comment section simply for the title or the thumbnail if you don't entirely agree with it. Of course, I'm not particularly implying that there's any certain gaming channel that is dying. However, what this video is supposed to be centered around is the reason why gaming itself is slow slowly becoming a less relevant topic on YouTube in general. And why gaming channels that center specifically around games and nothing else are slowly fading away. Now before we get into that, if you are new here and if you do enjoy this video, I recommend that you just go and smash that red subscribe button because if you do you'll get 10 years of good luck and you won't be disappointed because we have plenty of amazing things that are ready to come out in the future. Now, gaming on YouTube. One of the most prominent topics that have ever sprung up on YouTube itself. Back in the golden age, it was probably the most successful topic YouTube had ever seen. And at certain points, gaming videos were collectively gaining more views than even the top most viewed music videos on the same website. This was also what was responsible for creating the most subscribed channels on YouTube. Lots of the most subscribed people that you see on YouTube started off by doing gaming videos and used the amount of success that they gained from that to start creating other content and then get more subscribers that way. You may remember some of your favorite YouTubers creating only gaming content and then slowly changing into something else entirely. This just so happens to be the history of gaming on YouTube. Now as I said earlier, gaming itself had a golden age. A long time ago, gaming was the most popular thing on YouTube and the people that specialized in creating content simply recording themselves playing a game and their reaction caused them to become a major success and some of the most successful people to ever even come on this platform at all. But why in recent times have we seen less and less people becoming successful simply off of gaming videos? And why does it seem that as a whole gaming content is slowly fading away from relevancy? Now first of all, some of you may think that I'm absolutely crazy. Some of you completely disagree entirely that gaming at all is fading away or slowly becoming less relevant. And to an extent, you're 100% correct. Gaming itself is still an extremely massive topic. And multiple careers are still being built up from the very bottom up to an extreme amount of success. However, on YouTube itself, we have seen a slight decline in relevancy due to the amount of total views gaming channels get and the amount of people searching gaming videos on YouTube. Now the first and the most prominent reason is the rise of Twitch. Back when YouTube was in its infancy and its earliest stages, it was for the most part the most successful and the only platform on the internet where anyone could actively share content under any circumstance. There were practically no limits and regulations to what you could post. And this is what paved the path to gaming's overwhelming success, along with everyone's success that made gaming videos. And there are so many complicated and boring reasons why gaming videos got so viral to begin with, so we're not even gonna get into that. However, as Twitch.com grew in popularity, it popularized the idea of being able to constantly record and upload content to the internet without having to edit or record yourself beforehand and you could stream yourself non-stop to an infinite amount of people. And this was an even more ideal platform to host gaming videos and gaming content, which is what has led up to Twitch's extreme competition with YouTube Gaming. As a matter of fact, YouTube Gaming itself was created simply to compete with Twitch. However, for the most part, Twitch has taken the cake on that one. So instead of having to go on YouTube and be forced to watch limited timed videos with a certain amount of duration, people could head over to Twitch and watch their favorite streamer play a game for basically non-stop. And if a certain streamer wasn't playing, there would always be thousands of others that they could tune into at any time. They wouldn't have to wait for someone to upload another video on YouTube. So therefore, it was a more ideal place for the viewers of gaming videos as well. So in a sense, Twitch stole a massive amounts of potential YouTube gaming video viewers. And recently, it's been at its peak in terms of publicity. So Twitch could also someday end up being a rival to YouTube in general. And the second reason 
is simply because of the YouTube algorithm. Many people don't seem to understand just how much the YouTube algorithm has changed over time. Back when it was first getting started, it primarily favored videos that had a lot of watch time per ratio of how long the videos were. And also the YouTube algorithm favored watch sessions. Basically, what that is, is when you're clicking on video after video made by the same individual YouTube channel for a certain amount of time. However, since that time, YouTube's algorithm has changed to now only favoring click-through rates, which is the amount of times a video is clicked for the amount of times it's viewed by someone, and also total watch time, regardless of how long the video is. This means that gaming videos no longer have an advantage to getting more views. And the third and final reason as to why gaming channels are dying out. And remember, there's a key difference there when I say dying out, than just dying. Of course, as I've mentioned, there are plenty of gaming channels, and gamers in general, that are doing plenty fine. But the one major factor that has stopped the growth of the gaming genre on YouTube so far, has simply been TIMING. Timing is what made the gaming genre on YouTube so popular to begin with. People doing the right thing at the right time. The topic sprung out into popularity and then people rode the wave into success. But just like any gold rush, there's always a limited supply. Just like there is a limited opportunity for gaming to become big. And for anyone attempting to be a professional gamer with success on YouTube to become big as well. And then once the topic became saturated, no one had the opportunity anymore, or at the very least, it became extremely hard to be noticed. And over time, people have been more attracted to other forms of gaming content on the internet. So because of this, the channels that used to hold the monopoly of the most successful gaming topics on YouTube have either switched to other content or have slowly died off. And that, my friends, is why gaming on YouTube is dying out. And also because meme reviews are more interesting. And one more thing. If you're able to accurately count how many times I said the word gaming in this video, I will be subscribing to a couple of people in the comment section who are able to do that accurately. And with that being said, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.